the 2024 Republican frontrunners this week battling for attention in the all-important state of Iowa. Former President Trump holding a town hall on Thursday. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, he's there today. And tomorrow, it's the kickoff of his campaign after vowing to destroy leftism. Watch. If I'm the nominee, I will beat Biden uh, and I will serve two terms and I will be able to uh, destroy leftism in this country and leave woke ideology on the dustbin of history. I think there's a reason why the legacy media is attacking me uh, more than they're attacking anybody else, because I think they realize that if I'm successful in winning the Republican nomination, uh, we're going to bring it home in the general election. He could win the general. He is absolutely right, but he is taken incoming from all sides. DeSantis has a lot of ground to make up. A new Fox News poll shows Trump is beating him by 33 points in the race for the GOP nomination. Will Iowa be a turning point for the governor? Joining me now to discuss, oh, it's our luscious party panel. We have the host of the Jason Rant Show on KTTH in Seattle. See the Space Needle? He built it. That's Jason Rantz. And look who we have here. What a delight. Fox News senior political analyst, the one and only Juan Williams. And rounding it out tonight, co-founder of Based Politics, Hannah Cox, a fan favorite. Let's kick everything off. Um, so obviously, Jason, Ron DeSantis has a lot of work to do, but has he been uh, doing a better job than Trump of talking about his track record so far? Yeah, up until this point, he's been pretty focused on what he's done as governor and where he stands on something that I do think this election is going to be a serious issue, which is the culture wars. I think when he starts talking about abortion, he's in trouble and he's going to lose that most likely. But when you're focused on the issues around gender identities and children, I think he's going to win. When he's pushing back at corporations for going too far and getting too political, I think ultimately he's going to win that. It is odd to me that President Trump is attacking Ron DeSantis on that issue, when instead he should be talking about why that's the right issue to tackle, and here's why he would be better suited as uh, the next president. He's already done it before, he can do it again. So I think right now, if Ron DeSantis stays on this, he's going to be able to combat what the media is doing to him, which is trying to define him. And Ron DeSantis obviously can't afford to allow the media, which is antagonistic towards him, mm -hmm. to define his positions. Uh, they all want to define his positions. But if he is carving out his own ground, he has to go after Donald Trump's surgically won. So what do you see right now as Donald Trump's biggest vulnerabilities? Well, just picking up on what Jason was talking about, some of these culture war issues, Kennedy, if you really say, hey, wait a second, uh, you were president while immigration was really a trouble and you never built the wall. If you stop and say, uh, you know, when it comes to COVID, you really didn't handle it very well. But I was governor of Florida and look at the good record I have in Florida in the opinion of conservative voters. Uh, he has to, in fact, become very aggressive in going after Trump as well. He's got to be able to say, hey, listen, I think, you know, tonight he's at a church in Iowa, for example. He's got to mm -hmm. say, hey, you know, I think your involvement in payoffs to porn stars is not in keeping with the kind of values that I represent with my family. And I think he's got to be able to say, you know, I really believe in American service and sacrifice and not, you know, you hurt your ankle or you had bone spurs or something, <clears> and that's <throat> why you don't go serve in the war. Oh, yes. Many wars. Even the cola wars. Uh, so, <laughs> Hannah, what is Ron DeSantis doing right? Oh, I don't really know. I'm a little bit confused by what his plan is because I think he's trying to market himself as a saner version of Trump. But newsflash, Trump supporters don't want a saner version. They like the crazy. And meanwhile, the independents and people like me, they're not attracted to nationalism. They're not attracted to populism. Ron DeSantis did a really good job on COVID compared to most people. He can certainly beat Trump when it comes to that. But he has been one of the worst governors on free speech. He mm -hmm. has done many things to impede the free market. He's taken some egregious steps in Florida over the past year. And I just really don't think that there's anything all that attractive about him to get people to come vote for him in a primary 
over Trump and the GOP. I agree he could probably do better in the general election just because he is a little bit more sane. Mm -hmm. But still, I don't really see that his policies are different enough to attract people like me, which newsflash to the GOP, you have to be able to do to win. You are already in the minority. You have to be able to attract new voters. And I don't think that either of them really seems to have a plan for that thus far. But I will say I'm having a great time already. The video that Trump put out <laughs> responding to DeSantis announcing was unhinged. He literally said, Cuomo, Cuomo, the grandma killer, did a better job on COVID than Ron DeSantis. <laughs> it was hilarious, and I cannot wait for more. Yeah, and, and DeSantis counters with, you know, you turned over the country to Fauci, and that resonates with a lot of people. They look back at those press conferences when they seemed awfully chummy, and it, it was a really bad idea. And Anthony Fauci took way too much power. Trump gave mm -hmm. it to him. And, you know, they, they really ravaged the country. And I think there are a lot of yep. voters and maybe a lot of independents and liberty-minded voters who have not forgotten that. And, and they will not forgive that. But somehow saying that Florida was an unfree place <laughs> or that more people were dying, I don't know if that necessarily resonates either because a lot of people in from states like California and New York moved to Florida and they called all their friends and told them how great it was. Looking at you, Carol Markowitz. Mm -hmm. She's not actually on the panel, but I hope she's watching. <laughs>